Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make shapes onto your J panel by using the paint component method. So let's begin. In order to make that method, type in public void paint component. Open and close parentheses and the two curly braces. Inside of this parentheses, type in graphics and G in the variable. The reason why we type in graphics G is because that we need to use the graphics class in order to make shapes. But Java doesn't know where to get this class from. So we're going to tell Java that we're getting this class from this library. If you already don't have one, then make sure that you import this library. And the reason why we use a paint component method instead of the paint method is because that the paint component method has a feature which is the double buffering which is good for animation. So if you want your shapes to be moving then this will be a good method to use instead of the paint. Before we even get started with this method, we have to extend the J panel and make sure that you import the J panel. The reason why we use J panel instead of J frame is because that on J panel, there's there's a lot of things that needs to be added onto the J panel. So instead of um, making an object and use the variable over and over again, we inherit from the J panel class so yeah we don't have to do the object inside of this main method we'll be creating a uh, the frame with the window or the program so type in the object of this class which is the same thing from the previous tutorials we'll, we'll be using the T to be representing as a J panel is because the J panel is basically this program too. We're inheriting from this J panel class, so yeah, that's why we use T to be added onto the frame. And now let's type in the J frame object because remember we didn't extend it. Yeah, we didn't extend uh, JFrame, so we have to make an object for this. Or, yeah. So, yeah, we have to import a, the JFrame library. Same with the J panel, if you haven't done so. Now, let's use the JF variable to represent the JFrame. So, JF dot set title. make this tutorial like we were saying as before JF dot set size which will be 600 by 400 JF dot set visible true Oops. Now, let's set the default close. And then, yeah, type in JFrame dot exit on close. And now, let's add the J, uh, the J panel onto the frame. So type in JF dot add T. So yes, we're adding the J panel onto the frame because remember, like I said before, this class is basically like the J panel class. So yeah, we added the J panel class onto the frame. Now let's get started on making shapes inside of this method. So type in super dot paint component 
and typed in g, the variable. Yeah, the reason why we're typing typing super is because that we're getting this paint component method from this J panel. And the reason why we typed this, the whole thing right here, is because that this right here will ensure that every computer's are displaying the shapes properly onto the frame or the J panel. So like if you don't have this keyword or method then some of your computers won't display it properly. So yeah, make sure that you have this. And now let's make yeah this is the fun part right here. First let's make the rectangle red. So type in g the variable which which is representing the graphics dot set color so we're making it red so color dot red so yes java or eclipse automatically edited or imported this library for the color so don't forget about this library if you don't have it. And now let's draw the rectangles. Well this right here is drawing the outline of the rectangle. So yeah the outline will be red. So type in yeah there's the x, y, width and height arguments. So for the x let's type in 100 100 down, or no, no, not 100 down, I mean 100 horizontally to the right. So this is the x-axis. This right here is the y-axis. So this right here will be 10 down from the top. And right here, you can set, you can, yeah, you can do whatever you want with this. But mine is going to be 30 width and 40 height. Yep. Well, now let's run this program. As you can see, there is a red outline rectangle onto the J panel of the program. So this is pretty cool. Now let's do the same, but now this time we're not making it the outline of the rectangle. We're actually filling up the rectangle. We're going to use a different x-axis so let's use 10 from the left let's use a uh, hmm. let's use 10 down also 10 down and let's make this 20 10 and a semicolon so now let's run it and see what it looks like now we have a smaller version of the rectangle which is red and yeah so yes now let's do the ovals so type in g dot we're, go we're going to make the outline of the circle or oval so type in draw oval but yeah let's make this uh, x-axis like 100 also but it'll be 100 down also and the width let's make the same width and height so it'll be a circle so 50 50 semicolon so yeah we now have the outline of the red circle but now let's change the color of the circle so yeah type in g dot set color this right here is overriding the first method so type in color dot blue now we have a blue outline of a circle now let's fill the oval or the circle so g dot fill oval and they have the same arguments. 
So type in, um, let's see what the first one. Let's do 100 across. And this time let's do 200 down. So it won't overlap the outline of the circle. And it will also be 50-50. run it now we have the full we have the filled in circle of blue now let's make a line draw a line so let's do set color black for the line black semicolon and I type in g dot set or not set draw line and the first X is it's going to be the initial X and this right here is going to be the initial Y and then the line will end up at the X the final X position and this will be in the final Y position so yeah so we're going to draw the line starting from um, let's do 10 across it will start on the 10 on the x-axis and it's going to start on the 10 on the y-axis from the top and now let's do the initial we want our, our line to be diagonal so the x the final position of x is going to be 30 from the left and this is going to be 10 or not 10 Hold on, let's make it bigger let's do like 60 or no 70 70 to the right from the right I mean or from the top I mean so yeah yep now we have a line that's crossing over the rectangle so yes this is how you create shapes onto the J panel by using the paint component method.